That's okay. So uh, this meeting is being recorded. Um, so we are going to review the, um, first of all, uh, because we weren't being recorded, I'm just going to go through the roll call again. Um, again, present, if you could just say present. Emma Young? Present. Michael Kopko? Present. Sarah Ellis? Present. Tony Wagner? Present. And uh, Justin uh, Cherney is not able to join us today. He had a previous work commitment and Ava Rollins may be joining uh, as the meeting proceeds. The first uh, order of business is to review our minutes from the last meeting uh, that was held on December 16th. Uh, I was not present at that meeting. Um, has everyone had a chance to review uh, the minutes of the meeting from Janet and Emma? Yep. Move yeah, approval. Uh, Perfect. Uh, thank you so much. Perfect. Okay, great. So we will go on to our new order of business. Uh, the first is um, the awards grant ceremony that we have planned for April 20th of 2022. And at the last meeting on the 16th, um, there seemed to be a lot of conversation about different um, things that people were uh, willing to do. Uh, one of my responsibilities was uh, to ask the company of the cauldron for food or wine. The company of the cauldron, we will not likely be open on the 20th of April. So I cannot make that commitment from the company of the cauldron. As far as wine goes, um, I have reached out to a few of my distributors. And as long as the wine is not going to be sold, um, I probably can get some donations of wine. Um, okay. I assured them it will not be sold. There may be some donations, um, but it would not be sold. So, and um, thank you, Michael. Um, you have people at the uh, theater that are poured and TIP certified. That was my next question. Thank you so much for that. Um, so I will work on the wine portion. Um, I, like I said, um, the company cannot do the food. Um, I was going to ask Ava, I know she has a connection with the green, if she could reach out to them. Um, I will email her after this meeting is over um, and see if she has any uh, recommendations. Does anyone else on the council have any recommendations of uh, other places we can ask or Actually, I have moving a forward? Sorry. Um, I have a connection at the green also. I had a conversation with Jenny before I any of this. So um, I'm happy to ask her if Ava isn't available to do so. Awesome. That would be great. Thank you, Sarah. I appreciate that. Thanks, yeah, Sarah. let's try to move forward with that. Because, um, you know, if you feed them and, and, and you give them wine, they will come. So <laughs> those are important elements uh, of the evening. So thank you. If you could do that, that would be great. Um, the other thing was a PowerPoint presentation. Um, that was being worked on, uh, Ava, Tony, and Sarah. How's that coming? Um, I, I never heard from Ava or Tony, so I'm unfortunately. Okay, all right, no problem. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> so we're at the starting level of that. Great, okay, no problem. Um, um, Tony. I'm um, seeing that you were going to possibly recruit some musicians and the tourism department was going to create an honorarium for those musicians. Any, uh, anything happening on that front? No, but I do have people who have expressed interest. We could just book them. I, I wanted to get a sense from the council, what kind of music uh, do we think was appropriate for the event? Because really anybody will do it. <laughs> wow, that's so nice. Um, what is the consensus of the council? Jazz. Jazz. Mm -hmm. okay. Jazz. So I could probably get Aiden Sherry uh, and um, Jason Sullivan to do their little duo jazz guitar thing. I could ask them. Cool. I have a drummer. I have a jazz drummer too. I, I will voluntold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Voluntell him. And he works with, the, with, uh, with them as well. So um, if you need a drummer. Mm -hmm. my so son. We, could, we could get a whole jazz. I, I, how extensive are, are we thinking? Because this, this is just a small part of the, the 
ceremony, right, of the event? I think um, I thought Emma had brought it up in the very beginning, and I just thought it was a great idea to, you know, music makes an event, and um, and to have local musicians, and it's just a, a big, it just shows our big circle. Mm -hmm. um, yep. I think maybe we talked about like as people are mingling with food and beverage before we start any kind of presentation. Okay. It would That's just cool. maybe be a background sort of thing. Got it. So um, like about half an hour worth of background stuff, something like that. Yeah, I suppose we should try to kind of schedule out what the evening is going to look like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it'd be good to have a sense of how many people we're going to have. What uh, is this an invitation event? So, yep. So, yep. Um, it, there, um, Ava was going to draft a poster to use as an invitation that we were going to email um, to all the cultural organizations, if I'm not mistaken. But I think we also wanted it to be public, so anyone who might be thinking about applying, yeah. um, or anyone involved in any of the cultural organizations, could come. Yeah, we, we definitely to, want to. Be will we have people RSVP so we have a sense of a headcount, or is it just Pro wide open? Well, um, that's a very good question. Um, I think we will have a headcount from our organizations um, that are coming um i don't think we'll have a head count from the general putting it out in the public i don't think those you know we'll get a spattering we could get a we could get a big crowd i don't know um so that is a definitely a food and beverage question for sure we you know it would be kind of have to have a, a little bit of an idea um it's also we a can serving. probably come up with some it's a serving question too about you know we have a lot of young people showing up and there's wine being poured and stuff like that. So it's just, it's gotta be managed as best as we can that way. Oh, absolutely. Um, they could RSVP me. They could email me with a, okay. But wanted to come as long as we have a drop dead dates for the planning purposes. You know, they have to RSVP by if the 13th or something. I think it'd be more a more manageable uh, event if we had a sense of people RSVPing and how many heads we were going to have. Absolutely, I think that if 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 um, if Janet would be the point person on that, I think that would be great. And then we can put, you know, please RSVP on all of our. Um, or to secure um, your seat, RSVP the material, <laughs> and um, like it. I love it. <laughs> Yeah, we should say something like to reserve your seat, RSVP to me, but we should also be writing directly to the recipients to make sure that they're coming. Yeah. The other exactly. issue, of course, so is I also, you know, is COVID protocols and, you know, currently theaters generally are still requiring vax proof and masking indoors and stuff like that. Um, I'm not sure that by then we're going to need to be doing those things, but it's just something to keep out in front of us, depending on how things go. Yeah, it's a hard time of year to predict weather too, like whether we might have the doors open or be partially inside, partially outside, because could be snowing. Yeah, yeah, April is very, uh, do you think we're ready to do it in April? Do you think you want to, you know, move it so we don't you know uh, i don't can, think we want to get too close into summer territory yeah michael what's um, the capacity for like your lobby area um well i would go by the seating in the in the um in the orchestra section is about 120. so i think we probably don't want to be having many more than that anyway i'm assuming we're not expecting 120 people, are we? I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> there will probably be maybe one or two people from each organization. Um, and he tights that by, yeah, no. It, it but we could use that way. as like kind of in our mind of how many people to invite, how many people we might expect. Like 120 would be our total, total max. 
Yeah, between the lobby and the theater and the courtyard, that's a very manageable number of people. And as far as the COVID thing goes, you know, moving it doesn't really make any sense because we don't, we just don't have any idea of what's going to be happening when. And I think we need to just go forward with the date. Yeah. Jordy, you're frozen. Okay. I'm frozen. There. Oh. I'm frozen. Better. Better. <laughs> um, okay. So um, we just will move people forward, could, I guess. Uh, whoever's working on the wine situation, if they could just keep me in the loop on what's happening with that so I can manage my license, okay. Yeah, that would be me. So um, we'll work on that together. Um, and who can I, how do you usually purchase your wine? Do you purchase from a distributor? Do you purchase yeah. from a retailer? No, we get our wine. We have to get it from a distributor. Okay. Okay. Um, do you work with Martinetti? I mean, if you tell me who your distributor yeah, is. I, I, I work with Martinetti. That's who I get my wine from. And I okay. have, you know, I also, I have a bunch of cases of uh, Nantucket Vineyards wine sitting in the storeroom that I could pour too. Okay. All right. We'll also need some non-alcoholic beverages as well. Absolutely. Yep. Do we have a budget um, for that? Do we have any money for that? I know I can't take council money and pay for that. Um, or do we have an idea who we could also, we could ask for I can put some money towards it from my budget. I mean, I'm paying for musicians and I've got to figure out what our stipend normally is for the bandstand in the summer. Um, David's okay. aware of it now. I think I asked him once, but it went right out of my head. Anesthesia, you know, do it to you. Um, and then I can throw some money at some food. Yeah, you can do okay. any, you do non-alcoholic stuff, right, Janet? Yeah, I can't buy, and I can't buy wine though. And that could be something that's included in the pricing from, if we go with the green, they might be able to include other beverages. She in has the, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, go uh, ahead. She has those Belvoir drinks, which are something I, I, I don't drink. And that's something that I enjoy. It has like a little bit of a sparkle to it. And it's something that feels glamorous, even if you're not drinking, so. Awesome. Awesome. I think I can probably put like fifteen hundred dollars towards this. That should be plenty. Wow, that's a lot. That yeah. that would well, that, that includes would, musicians that, too, though. Right, right. That's that would be amazing. Um, so should we have Sarah with. get some kind of a quote from Jenny about uh, what 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 would we be thinking for a number of people? Fifty. For food, yeah, because we're gonna we're gonna need a we're gonna need some kind of estimate for how much food to get, right? Um, absolutely. Um, I think it's it's hard without. Um, I mean, we have that one hundred and twenty, which is a lot, and then we have figure ten grants over three years, two people per grant. Yeah, but some of those are repeats. Exactly. Yeah, well, I don't don't repeats. And then repeats. Janet, do you still have that list we came up with of like who else we were gonna invite? I think you sent it out at some point. Yeah, I think I sent it out after the last meeting. So I must have it on here, but it's on the other it's on the wrong screen right now. Okay, I'll try yeah. to as far as the public goes, I, I think it's great to want to have have folks in the public in. We, but you know, putting out uh, you know open house wine and food just show up. You know that's my concern. So we should be be managing that somehow. Yeah, I think we need to say that 
it's a, and also a way to promote what the council does. And that's why we're inviting a couple people from each cultural organization to attend this reception for award winners, rather than say it's a public open house. Yeah, you can get it, into- It's a reception, exactly. It's the reception for award, uh, the, exact. I, I agree with Janet and I also understand Michael's point. So definitely keep a scope on that invitation and make it be exactly what we are trying to accomplish, which is to award, uh, which is to recognize uh, our award winners and create some, just a great uh, conversation about art, I think is. I found the spreadsheet for when we did it, when we, when we were gonna do it in 2020. Oh, great. Who traditional people are. Um, select board, some town administration, um, nonprofits, school administration, and then people who had been on the council, but I don't, I don't think Maureen is with us anymore. Sutro? And I don't know who permits two is. Oh, I know who that is, yeah. That's uh, Annie. Also, yeah. Annie Vista. yep. And then Timothea and Lisa Simmons from the state, if we want to invite the state. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> Okay. Um. So maybe, I mean, I would be happy to come up with a rough list of people to invite. I think we, I think we might have set a date for when we wanted to send out invites. Um, does anyone have the last minutes handy? I have. I do. I don't see a date in here, but hold on. Did we settle on a time for the event? 5.30 to 7.30. 5.30 to 7.30. And that Thursday, the, the 20th is a Wednesday. I'm not sure that I can do that. Because of um, select board. Unless that's school vacation week. Oh, then they don't meet. Right. Oh, that's right. It's select board. Um, is it school vacation week? That is a good point because it's daffodil weekend, which is usually school vacation weekend week, the week before mm -hmm. daffodil. I'll look it up. We should make sure we, <laughs> have, <laughs> we should have the INM and yesterday's Island and Jason Grazi day on the invite list too, I think. Yeah, school vacation is the 18th to the 22nd, so. Okay, so I am available. Yeah, but do we want to do it when we yes. know a lot of people will be off that's island? The most, most of those is, yeah. Because that's going to restrict a lot of our grant applicant people. I mean, we uh, haven't. Uh, no, now, unless we could change it. We could do the following week. Get, yeah, the 27th. Or we do we not want to do a Wednesday because of select board? Well, that limits my participation because I have to be at select board meetings. Well, yeah, what about I think select board to come to the thing too, right? right. Yeah. 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 What about the 26th or the 28th? 28th, there's probably going to be daffodil stuff going on. So maybe we want to do the 26th, Tuesday. No, daffodil weekend is the 23rd and 24th. Oh, okay. Right. I think the, um, the Tuesday would be better uh, because we might get some press out of it too. Oh, that's true. Tuesday the 26th, 5.30 to 7.30. Looks for me. I will not, I'm, I'm out of town. That okay, well, we need you to be there. <laughs> Um, um, and I'm back. I'm not back until. What about earlier? What about the 12th? That doesn't give us much April. time. April? I, that, that doesn't work for the theater. Okay. Anyone else want to throw out some dates? I'm pretty available, <laughs> so um work makes the dream work 
I don't think early May is definitely is necessarily a problem like the third. May third. I'm not back. I I am not back until the eleventh of May. And if there's, you know, um, that's that's my own, uh, and I can't change that. So. Um, I mean, we could do the 17th, but that's the weekend. That's the week before Memorial Day. So I don't know. That's Wine Fest week. That's a lot. There's a lot going on that week. Um, but there's a lot of people here that week, too, um, which maybe, you you know, I don't know. I don't know if it's a big week for culture. It's what's going on at the theater. What's uh, what is what does the space look like? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in May, Michael. Yeah, I, I think we could do it in in May, sort of later in May. You might lose me by then, then. No, I don't want to. No. <laughs> All right. What about April twelfth? Back back to earlier. I should probably keep hang on to this function though through my transition. I'll just I'll just tell them that I have to maintain this that I want to close this out as part of my shift into my new role. Yeah, I just I just as soon go later than earlier myself. Because we've got some legwork to do on it too. Yeah. Um... What about the seventeenth? There's nothing 17th? going on the theater. May seventeenth. Yeah, that's available. Okay. Works for me. Okay. Tell Janet, does that work for you? Because right now, I don't Basically. know when my other Tuesday night meeting meets one Tuesday of the month, but I don't know when I can skip one because I'm not the boss anymore. <laughs> can we check? Would a Thursday work better? Or no, Tuesday I mean, is fine. The 17th is fine. Tuesday? Okay. Okay. And that gives us a lot more time to get uh, the PowerPoint presentation. Uh, gives me more time to get wine, gives more time uh, for food de donations, and just gives us more time to um, round it out. Tony, do you think there'll be any problem with any uh, musicians in the month of May? In that not, on a not on a Tuesday. That's fine. We should, uh, we should get to uh, Justin about that, too, because he's got a show opening in June, I think. So just I would just run that date by him. OK, I'll run it. Uh, so after this meeting, um, I will send uh, an email to Justin and to Ava uh, with this new information on a new uh, new date. Um, so at this point, we're looking at May 17th from 5.30 to 7.30. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. Everybody's in agreement. That's our new date. OK, perfect. And do we think, um, in terms of what Emma was mentioning, in terms of an estimate for Jenny, in terms of people, what um, what number should I at least begin with, do you think? You know, their portions are pretty generous. And I think if we say 50, we're going to have plenty of food. Yeah. Because every time awesome. I order something for a cabinet meeting here, we order for the number that we have and we get twice as much as we need. Yeah, she is generous. That makes sense. I can probably get Matt Fee to throw some cookies out. I agree. Food. He literally would, wouldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he's, uh, he's always good for cookies with me so great they give the green does a beautiful job like they is everybody freezing up okay so uh we'll move forward with that and we'll use 50 as a number does that sound good i'm happy to mention that to jenny and start there i think you know if we get lots of rsvps and things I, that would be great and i'm i'm happy to work on a rough estimate of who we're inviting and how many before the next meeting to get us a better number okay great perfect uh let's set a uh date for the next meeting um okay so today is I march 8th say, i would say two or three weeks keep us accountable of things we need to do. Um, how does March 29th work for everyone? Tuesday, the 29th. I will be 
away. Okay. Well, uh, I'm actually out from the 20th to the 4th of April. So I might be okay. in, missing that one. Okay. Um, how about the 5th of April? Yeah. Tuesday, Tuesday April 5th. Uh, Third, fourth, yeah, I could do that. That's my daughter's birthday. <laughs> Yay! At one o'clock. Awesome. We're gonna do one o'clock. Um, yeah, that seems. Does that seem to work for the group? Works well for me. Okay, great. Let's do one o'clock on Tuesday, the fifth of April. And we'll just circle back on all of the items that we talked about today, which are the um, food and wine for the event, the invitations for the event, um, the PowerPoint for the event, and the musicians for the event. Any other action items that I didn't cover or I missed? Yeah, I'm going to look at my uh, stock. I think I have a bunch of white wine that, I, that we okay. can bring to the event. Um, okay. So that we should coordinate about that because then you can if maybe get red and rosé from whoever you're getting it from. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. If you could do that for me, that would be great. And then we can stay in contact by email and um, I'll follow up with Martin Eddie. Okay. Are you, you going to contact Ava about the poster? Yes. Yeah. Um, take a look at that before, the, if she can get it done and send it around. Now this- Oh, the, that's a great- this is just for sending out, right? We're not posting them all over town and stuff like that. Right, it's, it's an invitation. Right. Exactly. Um, you, get the, you get the art gallery opening dining crowd showing up for these things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's learn about culture and have a glass of wine. Yeah. Um, Do we need, um, is, Michael, you have all the like AV stuff for the PowerPoint? Actually, we we do have a projector and a screen, so that should be no problem. Okay. Excellent. Um, the other things that were on the, um, that were discussed in the last meeting that we haven't talked about today are the review of a possible logo. Um, okay. Any movement on that? Any- Yes, um, I have a- um, updated draft um let me pull it up and share my screen nice and um well emma's doing that all the letters have gone out approval and disapproval letters our report is filed um everything is all set with the state and um now we're just uh waiting for programs to be finished and for those funding letters, funding um, letters to come in so we can sign them and, and get everyone their money. Okay. Oh, it looks great. Oh, Emma. I just did like a new font and I changed the little Nantucket at the top. Good kerning. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so I guess um, motion to approve, or if you want more discussion on edits. Looks good to me. Motion to approve. Second that motion. Second. Okay. Awesome. This is huge. This is huge. We have never had a logo. Are you going to so, take a vote? Yeah. Are you going to take a vote on the motion? Yes, we're going to take. Um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> we're going to take a vote on the motion. Um, I am uh, putting up a motion to approve the Nantucket Cultural Council logo as it, it appears here. Um, those in approval, please state your name. I, Michael Kopko. Thank you. I, Tony Wagner. Thank you. I, Sarah Ellis. I, Emma Young. 
Thank you. I, Jordana Fleischute. This is uh, unanimously approved. Thank you so much. So now we have a new logo. So I, um, Ava had sent around like a Dropbox link with a bunch of photos on it. And I'm hoping either I can get it to her to upload it because um, we'll want to put it on the poster and the invitation and everything. But um, I could also just send you guys copies of it in case you need to use it for anything. That would be great. Oh, I can see. Great. Thank you, Emma. Yes, you're welcome. Uh, okay, so let's see. Anything else on the other? Any items that anyone would like to discuss or bring up? My announcement? Yes. Um, I, I have made the decision to resign from the position of culture and tourism, and I'm going to take a part time job working with the town administration. I will stay on until uh, replacement is hired and transitioning happens. And I've already talked with Libby about keeping some items to the end of the fiscal year, which would include at this point, this event that we're talking about right now. Uh, and I'm doing that primarily because of, uh, I keep having operations for things in my bones and I just need a little more time to myself to do that. So uh, it's a lifestyle change. Congratulations, Janet. Thank you. Congratulations, honestly. Thank you for all your work. Awesome. Welcome. Yeah, we're not really going to let you go anywhere. Far away. No, she's not going anywhere. I know that was. <laughs> she's going to get faster now so she can run away from us, though. So. <laughs> I'm going to motorize my cane. <laughs> Any other matters of business? Nope. All right, I would like to uh, close this meeting of the Nantucket Cultural Council. Our next meeting again will be on um, April 5th. And um, Emma, can you set that up? Yep. Perfect. I just want to, again, thank everyone for their time and uh, for all the support of the council. And I just want to say thank you to Janet for everything you've done for us. Uh, we're not going to let you get away. So. <laughs> um, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. For get out, Janet. We pull you back in. <laughs> yeah, I've had yeah, that experience. I thought I was retired and they pulled me back in. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Um, so I'm going to close this meeting from the Nantucket Cultural Council. Uh, do I have a second? second. First and a second. Move to adjourn. Perfect. Second? Second. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Move to adjourn. I will see everyone in April. Um, I will send out an email to Ava and Justin um, that the minutes will be coming to them. Um, Janet, I'll let you tell them your announcement um, because it's that's your story. So. Um, I'm sorry, I missed that. I I, I will. T I'm, I'm going to just correspond to Ava and Justin about okay. uh, the new date, but I yeah. will not tell them. That's your story to tell them, and and and. Yeah, I won't put a lot of detail in the minutes either. Okay. Until I There's a lot of. Yeah, but I wanted groups that I'm working with to know before it got public, so you wouldn't be exactly. surprised. Exactly. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still like what. But, but I totally understand. <laughs> and, uh, and just, I just thank everybody for all their support. Everybody makes it work. So thank you for your time today. Have a great day. And we'll see you the fifth, if not sooner. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Bye.